Hey everyone, welcome back to Art a la carte. Today's video, I'm gonna show you how to draw a horse galloping. Now, before I actually start my drawing, I'm gonna explain the different supplies that I'll use because I, I get asked that question a lot in almost all my videos. What pencil did I use? What kind of paper? What kind of eraser? So let me quickly explain what I'm gonna use. For the initial sketch, I'm gonna use just a regular HB pencil. So it's a nice hard lead that leaves a very soft line, which unless I really scrub it into the paper, is easy to erase. That'll be for my just putting in the shapes. To darken everything in, I'm gonna use a 6B, which is a very soft lead, so it's gonna leave a really dark, dark line. Um, my eraser, I'm just gonna use a regular gummy eraser, and my paper is actually just plain computer paper. So let's get drawing. Now, if you haven't watched my video on how to draw a horse body, I kind of recommend you watch that first. But if you're ready to, let's just jump into the video. I'm gonna start off with the, the head of the horse, which I'm gonna use two circles, one larger, one smaller and so when they're all connected it kind of makes a oh, kind of a elongated triangle shape. Now I'm going to stretch my neck out just a little bit before I put in my chest. When horses run they generally tend to thrust their necks out just a little bit to help give them that extra force. So I want to do that with my horse here. And you'll notice that I'm not really focusing on making that precise line. I haven't gone back and erased anything, even though I have a lot of lines on here, because I'm focusing more on getting the correct shape rather than the correct line right now. So once I have my head and my shoulders, I'm gonna bring back the backbone back towards the rump of the horse. And to know my distance, it's about two and a half circles. If I were to add a circle here and a circle here, the distance between the two circles would be about half this size. That lets me know how long to make the horse. Okay, then I'm gonna wrap this around and as it comes back towards the underside of the horse, towards the back of the rump, it's going to slightly curve up just a little bit. Okay. So now I have the actual body of my horse, so now that all that's left is really the legs. Now, when in a gallop, the horse's legs obviously change position a lot. And so you wanna choose what position of the legs you're gonna want. There's some where the, the four legs, the front legs are really stretched out in front of it. There's some where that's kind of curled really far underneath it. Um, there's some where they're kind of right in the middle. So you wanna kind of look at some different pictures to find um, the right position that you want for this for this exact horse drawing. For this one I'm going to have kind of right in the middle where one leg is brought forward. I'm going to put a circle for the knee, bring it down, and the hoof is getting ready to stretch out. So it's not curved really severely back behind it. It's starting to unfurl a little bit. So it's not tight. And this leg on the other side is back still further. And tucked up. And it's still pretty curled up. Now, depending on what you want to do with the front legs will determine what your back legs are doing um, because they have to be in a certain position. If these legs are like this, then your back legs are not going to be stretched out way behind you. They're going to be curling up as well. As I say in the movie Bambi, you got to watch both ends at the same time. So we know the positions of these, so it will determine the positions of our back legs. So since this one is brought forward, this leg is gonna be tucked in just a little bit higher. So I'm gonna start off here at the hip, bring it to the, kind of the knee joint, back to the back hock, and then forward, and it's curved a little bit downward. 
I'm going to bring around back by the rump. And this is tucked in. He's really gathering himself up, or she is. Gathering themselves up. And bring it back for the hoof. Okay? And now for this leg here, the other side of the leg, is going to be a little less um, tucked up. It's going to have come down just a little bit, but it's still not connecting with the ground. And it's not going to be as curved in this bottom hoof as it's getting ready to stretch forward to make contact with the ground. It's at this point of the drawing that you really want to step back, take a look at it, and make sure that everything's in the position you want before you start going in and darkening the lines. As I'm looking at my reference photo and back at this picture, I actually want to bring these legs forward just a little bit. So I'm going to take my eraser and I'm going to erase my lines. I know, all that hard work. But it's much easier to fix now than later when I'm closer to finishing my drawing and thinking to myself, what's wrong with this picture? Don't be afraid to work your picture out a little bit. Now the temptation when redrawing a line after you've erased it is to draw it back exactly in the same place. So don't let yourself do that. So see how much further I brought this leg up than what it was. Now I can go ahead and fix this other leg. Just like so. Okay, now I'm going to bring in the tail. And it's just going to be flowing behind it. And I'll put in the mane. And obviously I need some ears. Generally when a horse is putting so much effort into running, it's going to flatten its ears just to kind of help with wind resistance. So I will draw my ears coming back off the horse. put a little bit of the forelock. Okay, so we have the general sketch of our horse. We've gone over it, fixed things that we don't like about it. Now I'll go ahead and take my darker uh, pencil and finish in my outlines. completed horse galloping picture. So yeah, I hope this video helped you out. I would love to see any pictures that you have that you drew of your horses galloping. Um, you can post these pictures on to the Facebook wall. Well, thank you for drawing with me today and I hope you had have fun drawing your own horses galloping. So we'll talk to you again uh, in our next art video. Until then, God bless you guys. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.